In other news this morning, we have reached day three of the port strike across the U.S. and the roughly 50,000 striking members of the International Longshoremen's Association are vowing to picket all day and all night until their ultimatums are met. So far, there's no word of any sort of significant progress between the union and the organization that represents those shipping companies. We're not greedy. We just working people, blue collar people that works a lot of hours to maintain that everything they need, they get. And we want to make sure we get what we need. Until a deal is reached, the transfer of goods along the east and Gulf Coast will be stalled. So you may be wondering, why is all this happening? Well, pay and automation are two of the biggest factors fueling this strike that shut down over 30 ports nationwide. Here at home, the impacts may not be felt severely in the early stages, but that doesn't mean that grocery stores and companies aren't paying close attention. My first thought was, all right, it's going to be a little bit tougher. We'll get through it, but it's going to be a little bit tougher. We just have to utilize different alternative sources. It wasn't the best news for Nando Gonzalez when he heard the longshoreman's port strike was becoming a reality. A strike where 45,000 dock workers have shut down 36 U.S. ports from Maine to Texas. Gonzalez, who was with River City Produce, located on Laredo Street, said that it brought him back to the struggles they dealt with during COVID. When a port shuts down and you have so much product that's coming in daily and you and you stop the supply chain every day that it gets a little bit more imbalanced it's like a wheel so it takes longer to get back in fortunately for companies like river city produce they have a lot of produce here that is made and grown within the united states for example this turbine pumpkin right here coming from arizona this indian corn arizona these white pumpkins right here california even these onions that you see over here coming from oregon but one of the highest volume fruits that's distributed throughout the world, these bananas coming from Mexico, that's the struggle bus that they're gonna suffer from. That's depending on how long the strike could last. Bananas are just a part of the impact of goods. Canned goods to electronics to cars. The numbers that they're predicting is, is this strike daily is going to affect three and a half million, I'm sorry, three and a half billion to five billion dollars a day in commerce a day, not a week, not a month, a day. The very reason why some manufacturers and retailers are urging President Joe Biden to invoke the Taft-Hartley Act. That authorizes the president to seek a court order for an 80-day cooling off period for companies and unions to try to resolve differences. With the Biden-Harris administration being pro-union and to Gonzalez's disappointment, Biden says he won't do it. I think that anytime commerce and the economy is going to be affected, you need to step in and say, hey, let's, let's fix this now. Think about the American consumer. We're already paying way too much as it is. So, you know, I understand what you're doing and the point that you're making, but think about, think about the people that really, really depend on, our, on the products coming in. So the last time a strike like this happened was in early 2000. President George W. Bush actually invoked the Taft-Hartley Act, to which both sides came to an agreement after several weeks. Nando says that with or without Biden's intervention, he just hopes that this strike will end quickly with winners on both sides. Yeah, it's, it's, it's been a talker, man. Uh, Absolutely, yes. <laughs> it's been stressful to think about something drastic happening, but again, mm -hmm. it's all depending on time. And HEB obviously is saying that they are good on supply, but good local perspective there. Mm -hmm. Good sure. local perspective. So again, in the beginning stages, don't freak out. Everybody just calm down. Let it play itself out and hopefully it ends quickly. Good advice.